Five investigates tonight learning new details about the infant remains discovered in a South Boston condo. Karen Anderson has been looking into the woman who owned that condo and the call that first raised questions. What have you learned, Karen? Well, Eric and Ed, it's still a mystery whose children those were or how they got there. But we do know the secret began to unravel all the way back in August. Police called to 838 East Broadway last month after the gruesome discovery. The remains of four infants in the freezer of Unit 3. Who were the parents? How did the bodies get there? Questions still unanswered. But interviews and public records do tell us about where they were found. The condo unit is owned by this woman, 67-year-old Alexis Aldemir, bought in 1983 for nearly $50,000. Also on the deed, her father, Joseph Harrelson, a former Army colonel, veteran of World War II in Korea, and member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He died in 2003. Alexis's mother, Jeanette, was divorced and lived in the same building until recently going into a nursing home. Years ago, I had two dogs and would be over at the park and the mother, Jeanette, would walk over and sit on the bench and we would chit chat. Um, Alexis came over occasionally, but the mother came over a couple of times a week. And what was Alexis like? I didn't really get to know her. Um, she was quiet and I always felt like she just walked over to more or less check on the mother, make sure she was okay. Andrea Winters lives nearby and says Alexis took care of her mother for years, but neighbors say they noticed a change in her. On August 15th, the smell of gas from her condo, someone called police. According to probate court records, Alexis was found at home with the gas stove left on and with confusion. She was diagnosed with dementia and admitted to Tufts Medical Center. A social worker from the hospital went to probate court asking for a guardian to be appointed because of Alexis's inability to care for herself and for her to be discharged to a skilled nursing memory care facility for long-term care. Her brother came to Boston to clean out both condos. He called police after discovering the remains in the freezer. Two infant boys, two infant girls in boxes wrapped in aluminum foil. Now, to be clear, authorities have not released any information suggesting wrongdoing by Alexis Aldemir or anyone in her family. The latest information from Boston police is that autopsy results are pending.